help, 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 H E L P, help. Now let's get into it. It's your girl. Hello, 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 everyone. It's your girl, Ro. I am back with another message, back with another word, back with another prophecy, back with another video. Yes, 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 you guys. I am back, I am back, and I am back as promised. We're still in this daily devotionals. We're working on three daily devotionals a day, our morning, midday, and evening devotionals, you guys. Y'all who have been rocking with me already know the drill. We doing this because we are going through so much. And we need it. For those of you who are new to this channel, welcome. You are about to experience something so amazing. And I hope that you stay tuned. I hope that you subscribe. And I hope that you share. Okay, okay, okay. So let's get into it. All right, y'all already know the drill. It's time for the prayer before devotional. Dear Heavenly Father, we give thanks for this moment, for being brought together by your grace. We welcome your presence here in this space we share. Bless everyone watching this video. Lord, guide their hearts. And if it wasn't by chance they tuned in, re reveal your purpose for them in this time remove any focus from me and replace it with you let your people hear your voice clearly speaking through me amen in your dear son name jesus amen amen and amen let's get into this help y'all let's get into this help let's go so the title of today's devotional, we're working on May 21st, May 21. This devotional, the title is Help, Help, okay? And it's funny because my son did the devotional before we can even get to it. Look, he left his little mark. He left it. He's like, Mama, I need some help, Okay. Yes, son, you're going to need some help once I get to you for writing in my book. Anywho, so the Bible verse that this today's devotional comes from is Psalms 12 and 5, and it's in the CEV version. Okay, you guys, I'm going to look these versions up. Give me a second because I'm tired of like not knowing, okay? Give me a second. Okay, you guys, so I'm back. I have looked up the Bible versions or the you know i keep saying versions it's the english bible translation so they have different translations okay and so the today's verse is from the c e v v for victor translation and c e v means contemporary english contemporary english so that's how they what 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 translation they're using so i've been saying it wrong this entire time so it's translation you guys all right i didn't get no I, maybe somebody did comment i don't know i haven't had a chance to read all my comments but i was asking that someone comment the translation i was saying version but translation maybe that's why they didn't comment uh, don't kill me but anyway um, it's Psalms 12, chapter 12, verse 5, contemporary English version, okay? Wait, did I say that right? Ah, contemporary English. Well, it is versions. I've been saying versions, so that's correct. So the V means versions. Okay. Anyway, let's get into it, y'all. Help. I will do something. Explanation point. The poor are mistreated and helpless people moan. I'll rescue all who suffer. Not some, but all who suffer. God is sending help, y'all. I'm so excited. God is sending help. 
He said it help. He will rescue all of you. Not some, all who suffer. And guess what? That's why he said life is not easy. We will all suffer. We're not going to have peaches and cream every day. People walk around thinking that they're supposed to have peaches and cream every day and get mad at life and do things to others to harm others because they're upset. You get what I'm saying? Like they can't accept, you know, that this the, 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 they didn't go the way that they wanted to go. God is saying, I'm not telling you that you're going to always be happy. You're not going to always have the best. You're not going to. You're going to suffer. But I'm telling you, I'm going to rescue you during the time that you're suffering. God, you're going to. People always say, oh, you only go to God. A lot of people say this. And I used to agree. But now with me learning more and more about God. From what I'm learning, he's saying to us. Well, let me say the same first. The same people always say. We always on, we only go to God when we're in distress, pain, suffering, and things of that nature. But really and truly and honestly, God is saying to us, he wants us to call out to him when we're in that state. He, I mean, he wants us to have him present always. Now, let's not get that confused. Always. But I think people have been thinking that they should not call to him when they're suffering. If that makes sense. Like it is being like when you're being accused of only calling out to God, which is true. Like, you know, I know everybody don't know. Listen, let's just say this. We all don't know what each other is going through at the times that they're going through it. A lot of times people don't speak on things unless they're going through something bad. And sometimes people only speak on good. So when you only see one side, you're going to automatically assume that that is the case. So we are so quick to make judgment and assume what a person is going through based on what they're providing to us. We never take the time to think about, okay, what, what, where's the other side of the story? Where's part two? You know what I'm saying? So the first thing we say is, I only see you ask for God when you're in pain. I only see you ask for God when you're suffering. I only see you call out to God during these times. But we don't know that maybe that person get up every morning praising God. You get what I'm saying? And maybe that cry is a little louder. Is 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 a is is a little louder because of the suffering. You get what I'm saying? So I say all of that to say, give them grace. Give them grace because we don't know what their situation is. So give them grace. And so God wants to hear from us. Good times, bad times, suffering, living it up, living our life to the fullest. He wants to hear from us always. And he's saying, I'm going to rescue all who suffer. Okay. So I'm going to read the devotionals breakdown of that verse all right so the breakdown that the devotional has for this bible verse is as you see the news in the world this week does it seem like evil people and wrong ideas dominate true yes everything it seems like <laughs> yes in a sense except this scandal that's going on right now because that is Proof and evidence that what you do in the dark will come to light. I won't speak the name, but y'all know that scandal that's going on right now in the music industry, okay? What goes on in the dark comes to light. So for people who aren't where I am and don't fully see things in their mind, true indeed. As you see the news in the world this week. It does seem like evil people and wrong ideas dominate. It does. This was exactly David's experience as he wrote this song. How then do we respond when each day we are reminded that much evil exists and many bad things are happening? First, 
we ought to be aware of the problem in the world around us. Christians are not to turn away from them or live in blissful ignorance. Second, we can be released from the burden of fixing the world on our own. Truly, Christians should train and be involved in influencing society for good. But the God who made the world is the God who can fix the world, not we ourselves. Third, we go to God with our sadness, as David did, and leave it with him to revenge the evil. Those of us who have grieved deeply over the evil of this world will rejoice most greatly when we see our Lord's deliverance and it will come. My God, my God. That's a powerful breakdown. I don't care what y'all say. That's a powerful breakdown, baby. Because like, <gasps> I was feeling like I couldn't breathe reading that, okay? That's a powerful breakdown. So what God is trying to tell you, he is trying to tell you, he's trying to tell you. Us Christians, we like to turn our head. We like to, we, we like to turn our back on what's going on in the world. Because we got this saying, not to be be in the world but not of the world so all these worldly things that are happening around us we try to pretend like we have no part in it we try to distance ourselves as if we don't live here with with everyone else okay god what god is trying to tell you is first you need to be aware of what's going on in order to be aware you have to face it you have to know. You have to be a, around it. You have to be in it. You have to be amongst the people who do it. Because how? <laughs> how can you tell them about the great goodness of God if you only deal with other Christians? They already know about him. Or so they say. You have to be in the midst of the chaos. Suffering because you can't find God. You can find God in peace. You can find God in harmony. You can find God in happiness. But you can truly find God when you're suffering. Because that's when you're the most vulnerable. That's when your, your cries is sincere. And you can wholeheartedly cry to God and he believes you. He knows like ain't no way she lying. She been suffering too long to be lying to me, you know, even though God knows our heart already. But I'm just saying that's just, you know, you know, like they say, the contemporary version. <laughs> so God is saying to you, you have to be in the world, okay? Wait, yeah, in the world, not of the world, but at the same time, you have to be around it. You have to, I'm not saying surround yourself around it, but I'm just saying you can't turn your back, basically. You can't walk away from it and act like it doesn't exist, okay? Second, you have to know that he is, You release yourself from the burden. You're going to, hey, no, we can try. It's nothing you can do. You can try to get to make it all go away. It's nothing you can do. We voting for presidents and possibility that our vote didn't count so we don't know what, what what's going on in the world the justice system is not correct it's corrupt you know we're running from police officers we're scared to get it pull, pulled over for a ticket of getting you know you know and so we have to know that we can't we can't save the world we're not we're not superman spider-man or whatever hero that we think we are that we 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 have to do it alone and that's what what a lot of us are suffering with because that's the problem with most of us we try to carry the burden alone we especially us mothers we try to carry the burden alone we this is happening that is happening that is happening that is happening and each situation we're there at first street trying to fix it Okay, I got to do this, 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 I got to do that. But instead, we should be 
going to God in prayer, putting it in his hand and, 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 and allow him to work. Now, I do know they say faith without works is dead, but sometimes some situations, the work that you do is just simply, Father God, in the name of Jesus, I, I, I ask that you remove, that you free me, that you release me. That's the work. And you just let him do his thing. Now, that doesn't mean ignore it. That doesn't mean put it away. That doesn't mean, oh, boom, the niche is gone. But it also means release here. It means take it out of your heart because it's bringing you down. It's bringing you down. It's, 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 it's shortening your days. It's, 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 it's unhealthy. Mm -hmm. It's unhealthy. So God is saying to you, I'm here. Give that to me. Take some of that off of you. He's not saying go lay down and just act like nothing exists, nothing happens. You still have to go to work. You still have to do all the things that you, you need to do for, the, for your life and your community, for your future and things of that nature. But he's saying when you get up, whatever it was that was causing you pain and causing you to suffer and causing you hurt, I want to be able to take that off of you and release it and you be happy about where you're going and what you're doing. You know that that suffering is not going to last long. And I need you to believe that by putting on a happy face. And I also want you to get it out of your, your heart internally so that whatever is inside comes out. Okay. So third, it says, um, we go to God with our sadness and leave it with him. That's, well, it's like the second and the third. Okay, well, the second was we can't fix everything, so we're still giving it to God. So, third, same thing, basically. Okay, you guys, so that's the breakdown. I gave my breakdown in between, so I don't have to break it down any further. But what I do want to say to whoever this message is for, God is telling you, take that burden out of your life and do it now. And... You already know what that burden is. You already know what is what is ailing you. You already know what is making you sick. You already know what has you depressed. You already know what has you down, what has you out. You already know what it is. Lord knows you know. You know. Mm-hmm. He wants you to leave it alone. Mm-hmm. You can't fix it. Mm-mm. We, we, we try to be superheroes so much. Because we want to save people so badly. But sometimes you have to understand that it is not for you to do. What you're doing is interrupting the course that God has for that person. Don't interrupt God. They may have to go through what they're going through for God to get them to the place that they need to get to. I'm not saying turn your back. I'm not saying leave them alone. I'm not saying walk away. What I'm saying is take it out of here. Continue to be there. Continue to be supportive. Continue to pray for them. And one thing you need to do is Get to know them a little bit better. And so you can better understand why they're doing what they're doing. Okay? All right. All right. All right. All right. So at the end of each devotional, like I always tell you guys, if you've been rocking with me, you know. If you're new, at the end of each devotional, they have a quick little prayer. And I'll read it. It says, as I hear the news today, Lord, I'm reminded of the evil around me and human hearts. Remind me again of your loving kindness and that a time is coming when you will arise and rescue those who suffer. He coming. God said he's coming back. He's going to rescue all of us who are suffering. So if you sitting right here acting like you ain't suffering, I'm, I don't know what to tell you. I suffer every day. <laughs> I suffer every day. It may not show because I took it out of here, but I'm suffering every day. And I'm ready for God to come save me. Help. Help. All right, you guys. You know the drill. You know the drill. Make sure you like, comment, share, 
subscribe first hit that notifications bell y'all already know as always be a blessing to others and i'll be back for midday devotional see you later bye